Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me on this rainy day here anyway. Uh, it's December 15th, 2022. It is 2.52 Eastern Time p.m. as I speak and record, guys. Thank you for joining me as we continue this daily devotional. Um, stand strong out of our daily bread. Just getting in the word every single day. Keeping that good seed planted in us because this world constantly is throwing nasty, negative seed that produces death and we that's why we got to get in the word look guys i know these devotionals are sometimes touching and inspirational but if we're not taking time to focus on the scriptures and cracking our bible open bone the dust off and getting the word of god in us then just watch i'm telling you guys i'm just being blunt and honest because of what's going on in this world if if you're not cracking the bible up and getting the word of god in you uh I, i'm just gonna leave that alone i'm just gonna leave that alone but guys thank you for today's devotional the title is winning the big one winning the big one i love it i love it i love it and our study scriptures is uh philippians chapter 3 verses 7 through 14 guys i went ahead and printed the whole chapter out philippians chapter 3 it is only 20 verses i think unless i cut one off i don't think it did let me hang on here 21 verses I, my apologies um it's 21 verses i read the whole thing probably in less than a minute, probably in less than one minute, maybe two. I got 21 vitamins in me, 21 scriptures, 21 verses of God's word in me. That's a lot of good seed that got planted and God will water it and do what he needs to do. But guys, even though our studies is only verses seven through 14, I would highly encourage you just to read all of chapter three. It, it's beautiful. It's powerful. I got some verses highlighted that are not part of our studies that just really speak to me and I just I can only pray that you guys get that I can only pray that you guys hunger for the word of God that's all I can do folks but thank you anyway so that's our studies our lead off verse that's Philippians chapter 3 verse 14 and the word of God says I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus guys we speak about this a lot pressing forward David McCaslin, our author, writes this today. In every field of endeavor, one award is considered the epitome of recognition and success. An Olympic gold medal, a Grammy, an Academy Award, or a Nobel Prize are among the big ones. But there is a greater prize anyone can obtain. Amen to that. Paul was familiar with first century athletic games in which competitors gave their full effort to win the prize. Yes, we do, Lord. With that in mind, he wrote to a group of followers of Christ in Philippi. Whatever were gains to me now, I consider loss for the sake of Christ. Why? Because his heart had embraced a new goal. I want to know Christ. Yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings. Amen, Paul. His trophy for completing the race would be the crown of righteousness. And that's 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. Each of us can aim for that prize, knowing that we honor the Lord in pursuing it. Every day in our ordinary duties, we are moving toward the big one the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Guys, I, I, man, I'm telling you, I don't know, Lord, where would you have me go with this one? Guys, I believe I mentioned before, we've talked about it in the past, some of these devotionals, about not focusing on the past, but pressing forward, looking, keeping focused on what's ahead. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's con this constant battle every single day. It is a race. It's it's a it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's a full board marathon to the finish line. And when you allow the, the distractions and the struggles of this world to to just do this, that to distract you. You're not running forward. You're either staying still or you're moving backwards. You know, they always saying two steps forward, one step back. You know, Paul and Abdul was saying about it. And that's what a lot of us as believers and Christians are doing. We're continually allowing this world, whatever the doctor said, that medical report, what you saw on the headlines, what they said on the news, schools closed and canceled because there's a possibility it may snow or may rain or freeze. 
I mean, we're basing, we are so focused on what this world is telling us. And I'm not going to get tired of saying it instead of believing what the word of God tells us. And, uh, and that's what, that's what distracts you from that finish line, that goal, that eternal goal. You know, Paul says, he says here in our studies, not, it's not in our studies, it's in chapter three. That's why I would encourage you to read it. You know, that he counts everything a loss and it may be in our study. He counts everything, everything in this life. We can gain nothing materialistic. There's nothing we can gain materialistic in this life, folks. Look at these trophies they just named off and you can add in there because, you know, guys, I love my sports. You can uh, the Heisman Trophy, uh, the Lombardi Trophy, the Super Bowl, um, the, the Stanley Cup, the uh, the World Series. You know what they what they win, and just go on and on. Just all these sports trophies that people. What happens to them? What happens to them when we when we're called home? You, you don't take that trophy home with you. It stays here, and eventually, it's everything's going to get get consumed by an all consuming fire when God returns. But the, the the goal, that eternal goal that we receive in heaven, and guys, there was another background. I was I was debating. I'm like, Lord, which background would you have me use? But the other background is a person on their knees before the Lord, getting that crown placed on their head. And guys, the word of God says that's going to happen someday, and there's an entire cloud of witnesses behind them in the scene, just you know, like applauding, like welcome home. You've received your crown. You have crossed that crossed that finish line. You have completed this race. You've ran with endurance, perseverance, all these things we've read about, guys. Receive that crown of righteousness. Um, and like it says, you know, every day we it says we are moving toward the moving forward, but are we? Are we truly moving forward every day? Or are we backsliding, allowing this world to to keep pulling us back away from that finish line? So winning the big one, and like this, uh, the background here. If you're not making Jesus Christ your prize, the focus, and to um I don't think this is in our studies, but I know Paul said it, you know, count, you know, count everything as a law, count everything as dung. Even one translation says, I count everything as dung, poop, crap, manure, not it, worthless guys. I count all as that because, you know, to, to live is Christ right now to live is Christ because we are focusing on Christ as being our eternal prize that that goal, that finish line. Christ is there arms wide open saying, come on, man, you almost got this. But, and it says uh, to, to live is Christ to die is gain. Because when we die, guess what? We did cross the finish line. <laughs> We're with the game's over. We're home with the Lord receiving that crown. But until then, we're still in this marathon, guys. We got to press hard. We got to press forward. We got to continuously reach out to God every day, spend alone time with him in prayer and meditation, and just allow him to, to fill us up, to be that spiritual Gatorade that replenishes uh, these these bodies so we can continue this this daily fight in this this temporary life here on this earth anyway but guys this is a beautiful one this is another reminder of what this life is about it is not about it's not about plaques diplomas trophies rewards awards it's, it's not guys i mean those things to me personally they're just worldly and then the word says you know anything worldly is a separation from god you know don't so there's some fine lines there guys we as christians really need to be focused on and just knowing that jesus is the main focus and we've got to we've got to get that in our heads so guys thank you so much for joining me again a beautiful one as always and until tomorrow friday hallelujah the 16th enjoy the rest of your day and i look forward to seeing what daddy says in i love you guys